Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Hit Start to Play podcast. It's your boy, Big Man Jack, and I'm with my co-host yet again. Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you happen to be. I hope you're all keeping safe under the current circumstances. We're almost there. Couple oh, more baby. months. Two more months. Two more months. And then for, well, for those of us here in the UK, anyway, I know it's different. but And then we'll be back into lockdown before we know it. Oh, yep. yeah can't wait <laughs> but i've got a new microphone so i might sound different hopefully yeah. sounds better might sound worse we won't know until we get there so <laughs> yeah so we just... post the episode it's absolutely <laughs> awful and i'm like <laughs> oh. Oh, so- sorry boys i've been muted for an hour what's happened <laughs> what i miss so Imagine, that'd be it, great. it did just take me 10 minutes to figure out how to use it so well we're okay. here we, we're boomers it's all right but yeah, so crap. I don't think there's anything to say, really. Anything Other than the fact that I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm just still on holiday mode. It's really strange. Like thinking that we were recording today, and I was like, "Christ, that's come quick." Considering we had recorded two episodes in one week, had all of like, I had all of last week off, and I'm back to it. And I'm like, "What do I do again? How do I do this?" So it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to again. But. Well, literally, the first thing you just said was, how do I do it when trying to press record? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, this is going to be an interesting one. That's a, that's a good start, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> but we'll get on to some news. I've had a lot of time to, to decipher some news. Yes. So I'm going to start off with a game that has been an announcement sort of stage and development stage for quite a while, and that is Biomutant. It's a game that the devs kind of went quiet on for a long time. It was, I'm sure it was at E3 one year, like years ago, and we just didn't really hear anything from it. It's finally back, and it is releasing May 25th. It is a single-player sort of action RPG, I believe in, in third person, where you play... Uh, I, I, mammalian mammalian warrior this obviously it's like a world with mutated animals so it's like a mixture of mammal and alien sort of thing and it's it's like you customize your character you can do literally like everything the body shape length of certain parts fitness <laughs> fur fail all of this you can do a bunch of stuff length quite of cool. certain <laughs> parts literally it's just, just well, you know what, you know what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> make it realistic and just non-existent yeah, just, just make it like you know anyway help <laughs> so uh, and it literally says here in this article if you make a thicker character it means you will be heavier but you'll be more tanky things oh, like yeah. that so your customization actually affects the gameplay which is quite good I haven't really seen that in many games that's going to make his character tick you know <laughs> just massive thick with three C's <laughs> just <laughs> pure <laughs> tank yeah, I'm going to move about two yeah. miles an hour. So. Yeah, apparently you're really slow, but you're very, very bulky. Or you can be little and be very, very rapid, depending on what you want to do. The combat system combines melee attacks with long-range shooting, and you can uh, obviously craft weapons, upgrade your character, <laughs> do all of that sort of thing. There's uh, elemental attacks like cryogenic and electrical, mm. which you can use. You can kind of build a build sort of around one of those depending what you want to do there's a bunch of stuff you can do it looks quite good you obviously it's rpg so you can level up your character and get new sort of attributes for those characters and things like that it look it looks quite nice i could be the good. plot yeah the plot wise it, it's sort of natural disaster has kind of struck the world and poisonous oil comes up from beneath the surface and pollutes the tree of life and the tree of life i believe is like the center of this world and it has five roots and in order to save the tree of life, players need to go to the end of each root uh, where an oil from the oil, a creature is destroying the root by gnawing at it. <laughs> and All there right. are six tribes in the game. Three of them plan to do sort of bad things. Three of them plan to do good things. And each tribe can be influenced by the karma system, which very Fallout-esque. Which, yeah, it sounds pretty good. It, it does look like a good game. To be honest, yeah, game, Gamescom 2018 was the first time we saw I mean, this, and it, it just ago. went dark. Yeah, it went completely dark. There was nothing on it for ages. And the only was... problem is now there's the, uh, <clears throat> you know, the expectation it needs to be good now. You oh know, yeah, three yeah, years in the making. Nothing. Or yeah, 
It's made by the guys that made the Just Cause series, so it's probably oh God, yeah, it's just gonna be stinky. Say, it's probably just gonna be a complete like I'm trying to think of the word rag doll <sighs> mess, but we shall see. It does yeah. look quite good. It is available for pre order now. It's like Just Cause you could stick rockets to cows and just send them flying. Yeah. It's probably gonna be a similar sort of thing, I'd imagine. Same studio. So yeah, it's available for pre-order if you want to do, but don't pre-order games because it's a bad practice. But that's that's a whole different episode. <laughs> Not going to get into that because I'll I'll start getting upset. Ryan, sorry, but, <laughs> I'm here for you. Sun's crying, thanks. But <laughs> next on the news, Ghost of Tsushima, obviously massively popular game. Won a lot of stuff at the Baftas recently. It's getting a film. Woo! Like Combat. Uh, it's directed by the same guy that, that directs John Wick. So I expect that sort of thing. I think this could be quite good. I mean, but then is it going to be another one of those uh, game films that just, their, their minds are in the right place and their heart's there, but then it just sucks. Well, to be fair, like, have you seen anything about the more, new Mortal Kombat film? It looks all right, to be fair. Yeah, it so. looks really good. Because yeah. they're thinking of doing a, cin- uh, a cinematic universe for Mortal Kombat, aren't they? So, as I'm yeah. right saying that. Yeah, yeah, so... I mean, based off what we've looked at before and personal experience. Yeah. I'm not like holding any hopes. It but... could be good. You know, we're not gonna play it off straight away and be like, yo, no, this sucks, man. But Yeah, no, of course. You know, who knows? It might be it might might uh, you know, surprise us. Yeah. We will Possibly. we will see when that releases, which we don't know. It's only just really been announced, so years yeah. probably. So they're still getting the cast together, aren't they? Yeah, they've got a few of them, but nothing. But fantastic game. We'll see you when, when the movie drops. I'll probably watch it. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll bring, so I recommend playing the game first because it is based on the game. So If I'd, you want to know what's going on. Yeah, I, I, or if you don't want spoilers for the game, play the game first, one of them. Ah, it probably true. will be similar. But moving on, the good old... Legacy PlayStation Store with PSP, PS3, and Vita games has been, or it's not been, but it is getting shut down. RIP, my brother. And now one thing uh, with this, what does this mean for like PlayStation now? Does that mean like PS3 games and that won't be available anymore on there? Because I know that, they were quite a big Is that true? Of it. Well, I don't know. That's oh, okay. what I'm uh, I mean, I, the thing is, right, I can't see them just getting rid of it off PS Now because PS Now like let's be honest is just stinky really it's not great it's not great um, no. people buy I think people probably buy it for the old PS3 games so if they remove them mate then no one's going to buy a PS Now well this let's begs be the question so obviously they're shutting down the PlayStation store for these legacy games yeah what does this mean for the like ownership licensing for digital games that people already own of this sort of stuff? True, so, I have seen a few things around on Twitter. And people are worried, like, are they still going to be able to lose? play their yeah. games? And uh, like, and why is this happening? Is it like accessibility? Save I wonder space? if what they're doing is they're going to shut down the servers for people that so you physically cannot buy these games anymore, but keep servers up. Because I'm assuming it's a server that you have to connect to to play these legacy games. Because, or like re download them. Maybe they're just going to leave it open for ones that you can re download, or maybe they're going to shift them over maybe. to the PS4 servers and just do it like that. Or what? Well, I don't multiplayer know. for a lot of these games is dead. So, yeah. like when we, we had the PlayStation now for a while and tried playing the PS3 Civilization game, and it, 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 yeah. they were all shut down. So, I don't really know, but it's. As digital gaming obviously becoming a lot more popular, yeah, I think it's becoming evident that there is a heavy downside to people not actually owning like physical copies of these games, and that mm-hmm. goes into a whole games as a service thing, which I'll get upset again. Well, that's a whole another. I'm not. We're not, we can't do an episode on that. I'll get. I'll get angry. We are definitely I'll, doing an episode nah, on that. I'll get. I'll get very <laughs> angry. About Boys, that. episode fourteen. You know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> games as a service i can't wait i'll just i'll tell you what for that entire episode i'll just sit here twiddling my thumbs like a like a I'm you know, like a counselor and be like yep so okay. <laughs> tell me about it tell me about your Where feelings did the hurt bro start? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, 
in there. So there you go, a little sneak peek on what might be coming for next week. <laughs> it's, it, this goes into a whole other issue, and, and the next news piece as well, which we'll get into now, yeah. is Xbox Live is shutting down as well. Yeah. Xbox, uh, Microsoft are in the sort of process of rebranding their sort of online networking features, and it's now being titled Xbox Network into in an attempt to sort of just plainly portray its actual purpose. And they, Microsoft believes that this change will help to distinguish between its behind-the-scenes network framing and paid Xbox Live Gold subscriptions. Not hundred percent. What? The, yeah, I, I don't. I'm not hundred percent what that actually I, is trying to say. In all honesty, bro, who cares? Everyone knows what Xbox Live is. Like, why change a thing that just doesn't need to be changed? That's what I don't this understand. Sound, yeah, this sounds a lot worse than it actually is as well. It's basically oh, yeah. saying the online service is gone, but it's not. It's just they're just changing the name pretty much. It. Yeah. <laughs> so it's still they're still obviously going to have like like I wouldn't worry. Like Xbox Live is not just completely dying and going. It's yeah, basically I mean, the underlying but, network features that that run the Xbox Live aren't going. It's just well, admittedly, when I first read it. <laughs> I thought, hold on a second. What do you mean Xbox Live's getting shut down? Like, the, what? Yeah. What? And then you actually read it, and it's like, oh, actually, realistically, all they're doing is changing the name. You're like, right. So why I go around telling everyone that Xbox Live's shutting down? Like, poor gamers, man. They're probably like getting ready to throw their Xboxes out the window. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't even be bothered. I can't play Call of Duty Ghosts anymore. So they throw their like consoles out the window. You know, look but what this, you've done, this, Microsoft. This begs the question as well. Like mm. games as a service here. What happens like with if if they're changing it to like Xbox networking? Mm. Is it different servers? Is it same servers as Xbox Live? <laughs> Just changing it. What well, that begs the question, what happens to games that use Xbox Live as a connectivity server? It's almost like I mean, obviously I haven't really read too much into it, but it literally looks like they're taking down Xbox Live, sticking a new label on it and selling it. As the exact same product, but they're like, no, it's brand new. You know, this is this is Xbox Gold membership or whatever they're bloody calling it. No, Xbox Live no longer yeah. exists. They were just we're just slapping a new label on it and pretending it's new. So yeah, it says here um, Xbox Live Gold memberships might also undergo a name change, but it remains to be seen. Maintaining the same branding will help to distance the subscription from the newly rebranded Xbox Network as intended. And uh, it even says here this is going to cause confusion. So Microsoft know that, they, they, that nobody knows what's going on here. So, so why bother? What? what? Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I haven't got a clue what what the point of this is. But Maybe it's because it, Xbox Live has a bad stick. I mean, you think about it, and you know, in pop in popular culture, it's always Xbox Live. Is you know, I'm I'm going on Xbox Live and I'm getting told by a twelve year olds that he slept with my mother. You know, so. Maybe they're trying to well, rebrand yeah, it into it's... something new and, you know. I mean, Xbox Live is the reason you now got to pay for PlayStation Plus and, yeah, and Nintendo Microsoft. Direct because it works. People pay for it. So Sony and Nintendo for, okay, here we go. Yeah, true. I'm going to go pay for it. But it does say here at the end of this article, uh, Xbox Live shutting down completely isn't strictly true. Sony, on the other hand, really is closing down several storefronts. So... Microsoft just well, not. They're shutting the community down for PS4 now, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't really know what this means yet. It's it's all Early Microsoft days, yeah. again, just PR. Yeah. We yeah. saw the last episode. There's a lot of PR going on here that Microsoft are quite good at. Exactly. Why I don't like Microsoft. Very PR heavy, because they know they've probably made a mistake, but. Let's get on to an actual game. Speaking, you just mentioned Call of Duty. The next Call of Duty has been announced. Well, Call of Duty Vanguard is what it is currently being titled. It returns to World War II. Now, Call of Duty World War II was a decent game. It was really uh, stinky to start with, but it, it, it got good when uh, the devs changed over. Yeah. Like, it was really bad to start with. And then the old, I believe the old Modern Warfare 2 lot went in, and that's when it got good. I mean, Basically, the issue with just, this, right, yeah. is they've already done two World War games, right? And last time I checked, there was two World Wars. So oh, in terms of campaign, what are you going to do that's different? Um, do you see what I mean? Well, Call of Duty World at War was obviously Russia, the Eastern Front, with mm-hmm. Japan and America and Russia and, and Germany. 
Call of Duty World War Two was the US and Germany, or was it? It was all screwed up, wasn't it? Because you were US, but you weren't fighting Japan. I'm, I'm sure. I uh, know you were fighting, which isn't uh, historically accurate in the slightest. But okay, it's <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't really know, but it, it, it is said that Activision's current plan is to stick with the Vanguard subtitle for the the final version. Modern Warzone, which is a, a <laughs> website, reports the entire game takes place in an alternate timeline where 1945 wasn't the end of World War II and is set in the 1950s. So that's probably how they're going to do it, is they make some stuff up. For God's sake. Okay. It'd be, uh, it'd be like Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, obviously, has been about 74 games of those, but they're all set in, in like World War II-esque, but basically Wolfenstein is set sort of where Nazi Germany won the war. Mm-hmm. And things like that. So they're going to do something different with it. Oh, they're running um, out of ideas. <laughs> that really seems like I a think, bit of a stretch. I think it could be okay. Mm. Um, obviously, you got the question: Did Warzone will Warzone be part well, of probably. this? Most likely. It's too much money. Well, to. the thing is, it's World War Two. Was well, it just going to go back in time? Imagine a World War Two battle royale, like. A war zone. I don't, I don't think it's been done, has it? I think there is this new game in there. I can't remember what it's called. I keep seeing adverts on Facebook of all places. <clears throat> it's like a released beta, but we can talk about that another time. I'll find out more about it. And uh, but yeah, no. Um, I, I don't know, man. Well, the thing is with with Cold War is obviously they've got the nuke event happening in Warzone, and yeah. apparently that's going to set the map of the dance back to the eighties. Is right. they going to do the same thing? Just slap it back to World War Two? I don't. Actually, but again, you just. I feel like they're just they're just rinsing it at this point. Like we get it. Do you know what I mean? Like, at least with Cold War, I found the campaign on that really like. I don't think enticing is the right word, but it was interesting. Whereas, I don't think you could do much more with like. I mean, yeah, they could do it in the nineteen fifties, but now they're just going to be winging the whole thing and making it up. You think? Yeah, it could be good. But could be good, act- and it could flop. I don't know. Yeah, Activision actually say themselves here. Um, Activision does not expect Call of Duty World War II Vanguard to sell as many copies as Cold War or Modern Warfare. So it's a sledgehammer game, which I believe they made World War II as well. Do you know what that says to me? Potentially. That what? says to me that they're going to half arse it and release it because they know for a fact it's not going to sell as much. So why are they going to bother? Well, it's, could... they said here, uh, in our outlook, we are conservative, conservatively assuming Call of Duty premium units are lower year over year, which they are. Modern Warfare yeah. sold an absolute metric ton. Cold War didn't sell nearly as much. Yep. And probably, uh, what's this guy? I've, I've lit for Vanguard. Vanguard. Probably, <laughs> I literally <laughs> forgot already. Uh, probably won't, won't sell as much, and that's the thing. Well, that seems to be a cycle. With, with Call of Duty in general, they Until peak they and then they go down. Else. Yeah, and then they'll come yeah. out with something else like Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and it'll just bang again. It's, I think it's just Call of Duty, though, isn't it? It's one of those things that yeah, everyone has memories on, but I think as you get older, you kind of get bored of it because when you boils down to it, the campaigns are good. Like Cold War campaign for me was beautiful. I loved it. But the multiplayer was like, eh. And I don't know if that's because I'm older now or what, but when it boils down to it, all you're doing is shooting other people. And you're like, well, the this... games is it's Warzone now, is, is what yeah, that's the one. And the it? games that's... moved to that, yeah. Like, all nice. of the pro stuff is Warzone, all yeah. of the street. If you look at the top streams for, for Call of Duty, it's Warzone, it's Warzone. yeah. yeah it, and it probably won't change because the games themselves, like Modern Warfare, was I think the best one ever made. Mm. I, I could, I, but I, could, I couldn't sit and play the 6v6 on that game, I'd, no. I'd play Ground War or Warzone, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't play the 6v6 on it. It was miserable. No. But, no. I don't know. We'll see when this comes out. It's going to obviously come out November time this year. Yep. We we'll will see, see some more stuff later on. So we will be keeping you up to date throughout the year. Yes. On that. Now, I'm absolutely sick and tired of talking about Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> but there is one more. I saw this the other day and I literally was like, nah. I was like, you're taking the piss now. Uh, Microsoft is in talks to acquire Discord, a video game chat community. You all know what it is for more than $10 billion. Like, come on. Seriously? Like, 
<sighs> now the thing the thing with this is Discord are looking to get bought, which says to me there are problems at Discord if they are actively looking for buyers. I'll tell you what and... the problem with Discord is, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it. I run it down to one sentence, or actually one word, and it's Wampus. That is the problem with Discord. Uh, isn't that the like the mascot? Just, oh, yeah. And <laughs> honestly, I've had emails from Discord being like, "Yo, X, like blah 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 blah." Wampus thanks you, like. What get out of here, man? What do you mean? Yeah, like when you boot up Discord, it's like Wampus is just igniting the fairy <laughs> dust and all this. It's like what? You know, Wampus, <laughs> please leave me alone, bro. Come on. Like I think Wampus. Microsoft buying this is gonna be horrendous because they're gonna just turn into Skype. <sighs> well the problem is right, they've already got um Xbox Game Pass is linked with Nitro. You get like trials and stuff of Xbox Game Pass already. Um, so, you know, if you're a Microsoft user or like an Xbox user, it's probably going to be good for you. But for anyone else, you're not going to care. And I don't think Microsoft are going to care that much either. I think they're just buying oh, no. it because it's collateral. Like it's the biggest platform. The next, yeah, the next giant that they can take over and do whatever they want with it. You know, and I think if you're an Xbox user, you're gonna love it, but oh yeah, because you get Discord for free. You and you probably get Xbox Discord, now. Discord on Xboxes now, you know. Yeah, which and uh, now there good. are there are, there are sort of controversial comment comments to this. The the people spoke to people for Discord didn't want to be identified because discussions are private, and they said Discord is more likely to go public itself than than let sort of journalists do it so we don't know facts until discord themselves come out but representatives for microsoft and discord both declined to comment but it has been reported on multiple sources that discord has been in sales talks so i i do think this will happen yep and it's going to be skype v2 and we're all going to go find something else <laughs> yeah like teams oh wait that's microsoft as well <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we, we use teams for work it's, it's just no it's horrible yeah. isn't it? it's absolutely <sighs> awful microsoft oh, just oh. leak right listen i've got to tell you this is a message for you microsoft from your boy leave things alone <laughs> stop buying everything go home go to bed go to sleep wake up and burn all your money. Stop buying things, man. Like, seriously. Like, I'm tired of talking about Microsoft. I can't be arsed. It's like every week, <laughs> no, it's like, yo, no, Microsoft have bought this. And I'm like, Microsoft have bought this. Oh, here bro, we I'm go. telling you right now, you can clip this. If Apple get bought by Microsoft, I will burn every product I have on protest. I swear. I, I'm not. I am. That's going to be a clip. Oh, I just cannot <laughs> be. <laughs> I can't be dealing with it. <laughs> like, leave, Wait, who, leave it alone. Who's a bigger company during Apple or Microsoft? I'm Microsoft, have a look. I think. Mm. Have a look. Uh, yeah, I would assume Microsoft because considering they own like half the planet at this point. Oh, yeah. Microsoft by a long way. Yeah. <laughs> like, Microsoft shares are going down, though. Good. Do a GameStop. Everyone just go in and buy. <laughs> buy <another. laughs> Bro, no, ignore that. Don't do that, boys. Don't. Oh, don't. God, yeah, don't. Don't. Put Can you imagine if we were that. responsible for that? Uh, yeah, all of a sudden, <laughs> like, everyone starts going middle ass. You're like, you told me to invest in Microsoft and it went down even further. I'm like, bro, listen, the only thing I know about is crypto. I don't know about stocks. Leave me alone. Yeah, just, let's move on before <laughs> <laughs> something bad happens. But yeah, bottom but line is. Microsoft God. is buying everything. So, yeah, yeah, pretty much. So, I fully expect next week Microsoft are going to buy someone else. But Probably we'll by TikTok. There. Watch it. Call it now. Oh, yeah. Microsoft have just bought everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> they got tomorrow. Hold on. Microsoft on the planet. YouTube bought by Microsoft. Yep. <sighs> That'd be horrible. Anyway. Oh, I'd quit. But, yeah. <laughs> so, Vimeo, here we so, come. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Justin.tv <laughs> The resurrection of the century. It's gotta happen, boys. But we'll move on to something that you you'll you'll be keen on. Oh, man, three, yes. Seven Deadly Sins DLC. Now, I thought this was the anime at first, and I got a bit scared. <laughs> but I think it's like the the obviously talking about the seven deadly sins and like the religious sense. Yes. Yeah. But the logo 
I don't, it, I don't, I've never watched the anime, but that looks familiar. Let me have a look. Yeah, I'm gonna like sit and watch anime from now on. But yeah, I mean, oh, it could no, be good. I, I, I think oh, I'd love to see them release DLC, which brings maps. But yeah, I don't think any of these are. It's a seven-part no. um, DLC. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not linked to the anime. So thank God. Uh, yeah, seven-part DLC, which brings you back to Dubai. So obviously the first level. Yeah, that's the first. Um, uh, the first one brings you back to Dubai. I don't know. Yeah, what they all do. Uh, the first one is called Greed. Yes, that's a cool little suit. There, it's like a gold-plated suit. I'd be tempted to get them, I and it's it's could be i could probably get it and then update people a bit more uh, yeah yeah well, closer to the time but it, 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 it looks comes good. out tomorrow as of yes. recording this the first the first episode comes out tomorrow yes so the 30th of march we're recording this 29th certainly are but we get two sin themed item the greedy little coin and the devil's cane along with the rapacious suit rapacious yep. which looks that. sick it does look very nice, yeah. Um, it's only it's, it's four it's four quid as well. Yeah, or yeah, or twenty four uh, ninety nine yeah. for the full. Yeah, if you're gonna get them all, you're better off doing that's cheaper. Yeah, exactly. I think it's a good step by Isle. It looks, I mean, because they they obviously Hitman Three is the last one. Yeah, uh, and if they're adding stuff to it, I think I think IO have done it well this time. I think they've they've done bits. Uh, I rate them for this, you know actually provide on a roadmap for what's coming out as well so it's you know what to expect which is good yeah 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 i've just seen this so i'm looking at a, an article here by actual io and it says um a season of sin can last anywhere between four to six weeks and it will include escalations featured contracts and elusive targets the full content roadmap for what's included in the season of greed will be released in the first full week of april so okay. Stuff's going to be getting updated throughout each season of, mm-hmm. of Sin, uh, sort of as they as they go through. Which yeah, it sounds pretty cool actually. Yeah, I mean I'm a big See. fan of Hip Man, so uh, I'm gonna be yeah. I thought for it. you'd like this one, so yeah. Quite so excited that. for that. I, I, yeah, I, I'd recommend. But next up is a series that I completely forgot even existed. Is World War One? It's like a series of games. Has been. I think this is the third one. Where but obviously they're just famous battles throughout World War One, which hasn't really been done too much in games. I think Battlefield being the biggest one mm-hmm. that has. But we got World War One at Asonzo, which I believe was a, a battle in Italy in World War One, something like that, possibly. I believe it. I'll, I'll take your word for that one. Um, yeah, I, I should know that I'm doing a history degree, but yeah, I'm sure it's Italy. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure I'm not. Uh, it's basically the third entry into the historical multiplayer first person shooter series following Verdun and Tannenberg. Uh, Verdun and Tannenberg being two uh, infamous battles, obviously, in, in World War One. And uh, for the uh, so the article I'm reading here it says, for the uninitiated, the World War One game series throws players into a strategic squad based gunfight inspired by the battles from the First World War. Verdun obviously kicked off the first one, the sort of first sort of game in the franchise. Tannenberg followed up with uh, Russia, I believe Tannenberg is in. Mm -hmm. And Asonzo will explore the clash between the Kingdom of Italy and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So yeah, this looks beautiful as well, graphically. I don't know if you've watched like a trailer for it. No, I haven't. No, no. It looks looks absolutely like gorgeous. Mm. But a little... uh, a little quote from the developers. For example, we have completely redone the way we handle terrain, harnessing the power of tessellation to bring the razor sharp rock formations of the Italian front to life. It also allows for trenches that are much more detailed than the previous game. Secondly, we are now taking advantage of global illumination, which impacts the feel and cohesion of mountainsides and ruined villages alike while enhancing performance. Finally, we have upped our game in terms of IK, and assisted animations sure yeah why not Not a clue to make player (laughs) movement and the overall game feel way more fluid and dynamic the game does look beautiful it does look very very nice all right but yeah it could be good uh they're they're relatively unknown sort of like when did battlefield one come out i don't not a clue battlefield one battlefield one came out in 2016, so a year after the first World War One game, and I feel it kind of just swamped it. Because well, yeah, it's World Battlefield, isn't it? Yeah, 
So, yeah, we'll see. This does look good, but it, we don't know when it's releasing. It just says sometime in 2021 for, for all new consoles and old as well. You can play them on, on PS4 and Xbox One. I feel like if it's a visual game, it's going to look really, really good on the PS5. So, um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's coming out for PS5, uh, Xbox Series X and PC, so... Lovely. Yeah. Imagine that on PC. It looked beautiful. Oh. But, yeah, we'll move on. We have... The PlayStation Stay at Home initiative, which has released a bunch of games for free that you can pick up right now. Yes. So go and do that. Some go of these games download are them. So we got Abzu, Enter the Gungeon, Res Infinite, Subnautica, The Witness, Astrobot Rescue Mission, Moss, Thumper, and Paper Beast are all currently free. Uh, you can keep them forever as well. Mm-hmm. They'll be available until April the 22nd, 8 p.m. Pacific time. You can do the conversion to wherever you are, wherever are you are located. So yeah, this some of these games are fantastic. Like Into the Gungeon, Res Infinite, Subnautica, The Witness are all beautiful games. That they're all they're all indie games, but I think these are games that I, I, I absolutely recommend. I tell you what, up. right on that note, we'll talk about free games quickly. One game, if you've got, I think it's only on PS5. So if you have, you are one of the lucky ones and you've got a PS5 and you like puzzle games. Currently, one of the March monthly games is called, I think it's Maquette. Marquette. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, M A Q U E double T E. Um, it's like a puzzle game. Um, we've, you sort of go through these different levels and stuff and you've got to work out how to do the level and you get a story behind it. It's talking about, I'm not going to ruin the story, but it's a really, really good story. If you enjoy puzzle games, it's free. Go download it. It is quality, mate. Me and my, me and my missus have played it, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really fun game. Um, and the story, like I said, the story keeps you keeps you gripped as well. So, you know, and while we're on the topic of free games, I just had to, had to chuck that yeah. one in. Quality with puzzle game. games, The Witness yeah. is, I think, an absolutely gorgeous game. Does look really nice. It's you, you see, I won't spoil too much, but you put on an island and you kind of you don't know what's going on, but you just got to solve puzzles basically. And it's it's it looks beautiful. And yeah. it's it's a game I spent a lot of time on when it first became free on PS4. I think it's a game that should have won game of the year in 2016, but we won't get into that right now. And but also yeah, it's, it's an absolutely no, go on, sorry, it's an absolutely beautiful game i recommend it completely but yeah go on to uh horizon zero dawn is being will become free soon so yes yes yeah i forgot keep about an that, on that actually please please if you have not played that game please do I that, that includes so. you yes <laughs> please I t- do i tell you what i'm going for the odd world game though as well that I'm oh excited yes for. yeah odd world that's free isn't it in, yeah mad in, for in the april, april. So I like the Odd World games. They're weird. They're very they're super strange. fun though. <laughs> yeah, they're very good games. I remember playing them back in the yeah, day. Yeah. Um they're I will very... give it to Sony. I think Yeah, it's a good, it's really good, isn't it? They're doing well with their free games so far. Like they they yeah, give you if so... given a free game every month, it's you know, and this stay home initiative, I think it's a good move. So definitely, definitely go and just add them to your library, at least. Yeah, you don't have to play them right away. Just download them or add them to library, mm-hmm. whatever you need to do. The thing is, uh, as well, is with games, not games with gold, that's Microsoft. Oh, yeah. Microsoft, go away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the PS Plus free games. Um, obviously, you've got what they're called. Um, they do the, I can't remember what they actually call it, but the the PS Plus free games each games month with gold or whatever no that's oh my no, god I've mark. just said it oh yeah so oh, yeah, um, see right. you next week yeah thank up. you for watching um, no what's it called PS Plus it's just monthly PlayStation games there we go yeah oh, something do. like that uh, they they've been releasing bangers for free for a couple of months straight now so it's, P- it's just called PS Plus. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're releasing bangers recently. Uh, and Ratchet and Clank is still free for a couple of days until yep. the 31st of March. So do pick that up before it's not free anymore. And the Final Fantasy believe. remake. Get that. Yeah, that, that is free as well. Yeah, until mm. April 5th or something. So yeah, do, do pick it up. Yes, Even sir. if you're not a fan, it's 60 quid you don't have to spend. If you want to give it a go. So send yeah. it, boys. Send it. But final news piece 
for the episode about Rust. We spoke about this a while back, Rust coming yep. to console. There's been a bit more information, and the developer shared the news via the game's official blog that the console versions of the now seven-year-old multiplayer game will launch on May 21st for PS4 and Xbox One, but you can play it on a PS5 and Xbox Series X as well. Yes. So the game will take up... It's only 4.5 gig on consoles. Which, which I'm surprised nice. at. Yes, yeah, it's, it's over 20 gig of P on PC as well. So I think this is quite good. Uh, I might give this a go, to be honest. It'd be something we could stream, you know? Yeah. You know? And the console version will come with regular updates just as the PC one. However, it does defer from the PC one. It's got its own roadmap. It's just going to be separate. So don't expect the PC and console ones to be exactly the same just no. because they want to, as a quote, provide an optimal player experience while gradually introducing players to the vast amount of gameplay and content. So it'll probably be an older version of Rust, I'd imagine, originally. Yeah, I would assume so. Which uh, is, yeah, it's expected, to be honest. But yeah, that is the news. And now we can get on to what we want to actually talk about. Yeah, me. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day? <laughs> How's life? Well, yeah. you don't want me to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn into a massive therapy session. <laughs> but we uh, we're going to talk about this last last week. But we got uh, too upset about talking about Microsoft as usual. <laughs> so yeah, mate, why do you think um, I took a week off? I need to therapy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to be talking about sort of game devs and our favorite game devs and some of the games they they have come out with. So, uh, I'll let you start. I've spoken oh, for a long time. Of course, time. I have to start. Why? Oh. I mean, let's be honest, right? You, we all, everyone, any, anyone knows me, knows exactly what my first one's going to be. And if you don't yeah. guess it right, then it's just don't bother talking to me. Yeah, obviously. Like, is yeah, there I've anything got, more that I could say? <laughs> is there anything more I could say about Rockstar without, like, giving them my firstborn? Because. I, I just think, I mean, they've made some stinky games, don't get me wrong, but as a whole... Oh, yeah. Every company has those. They've, not- they've taken the, the the open world game and just made it into something that everyone knows. Like, you know, I, I don't think you'll find anyone that doesn't play video games know what GTA is, or Red Dead, or... <laughs> um, maybe Red Dead, but GTA for sure. But yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, no one... You If you said Grand Theft Auto, you know... Nine times yeah, out of ten, someone's know. going to know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. You know, yeah. um, I think I think they do they do deserve a lot of stick because they have done some things that you think, right? Why? But yeah, they turn it around in the end. You know, like GTA Online, for example, when it first came out, the servers it didn't, didn't even work. work. Uh, yeah. uh, the only way you could make money was shark cards. Um, but they've turned it around, and now GTA is still popping, and it's however many years old. So. Yeah, eight years. You know, you got you got to put credit credit on the name. You know, you got to respect the name. Um, I think yeah, I might as well talk about this as well. I've got I've got Rockstar as well on yeah. on here for some of the best devs, but I've got them linked with Bethesda. Very similar reasoning. Mm. Uh, we spoke about these two companies a lot, so I'm not gonna go too much into it. Bethesda and Rockstar, they both make fantastic franchises. Similar yep. with GTA with Bethesda, it, you you find me someone that that doesn't know what Skyrim is. Yeah, like my my mum's never played a video game in her life, and she knows what Skyrim is. Which edition? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll go ask her. She's names all like fifteen on the top of her head. I'll put up, bro, this girl like she's been playing Skyrim. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just slaps the PS4 while I'm at work and just starts ah. playing Skyrim. <laughs> but yeah, like I think same thing. They've done. They've both done some questionable things more recently. Yeah. In practice sense, but they they do make some fantastic franchises. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got uh, got in. Go on, you can go. I got two honourable mentions that I'm going to mention. They're not they're not on this list, but they could have been. Uh, CD Projekt Red yeah. is one. It, it they would have been, I think. If there's two reasons, obviously Cyberpunk was a disaster. If they didn't get yeah, hacked. That, yeah, that's kind of put me off a little bit, yeah. and the fact that they're only literally the uh, the only game they have ever developed <sighs> is, is the Witcher series, other than Cyberpunk. So, I don't really want to put a, a company that's literally done one franchise. I yeah. wanted to kind of do one like with Bethesda Rockstar. You've got multiple 
massive franchises, whereas The Witcher is obviously huge, but it's the only one I've ever done. And Guerrilla Games for the same reason. They're a great franchise, and obviously Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West to come. That um, mm. I'm sure for Forbidden West will be an absolutely beautiful game. But before that, all they did was Kill Zone. If it's not, I'm gonna uh, riot. Yeah, I see. I've never put it. Just cancel, <laughs> cancel Guerrilla Game. But yeah, they've only done like a couple of franchises, so they're not like if they branch out from Horizon and do several absolutely astonishing franchises then then yes but give them for a bit now, more credit yeah I, I think they're they're a bit too sort of niche to be considered like up there i think with the the big boys for me no i, I rate that but I think what's your next one? so i've got an interesting one that uh i think it's going to be a very niche thing um if i mean I probably not Ubisoft or ea <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm going to go for this very like niche, uh, <laughs> niche indie, e- indie company. Um, have you ever heard of Electronic? What they're called? I don't even know what they're called. Uh, now. Electronic Arts. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever heard of Electronic Arts? Because I've never heard of. It. What about this game? No. Uh, FIFA. I've never heard of that before. Um, no, my. It's actually a Japanese company. It's called Omega Force. Um, okay. They're known for never the Dynasty Warriors oh, series. Right. Um, I thought that was Capcom, to be honest. No, so the, the Capcom did uh, some of them, but the Dynasty Warriors, which was a specific franchise in the Dynasty era sort of thing, yeah, um, the sort of did like the earlier ones. Oh, okay. Um, really good games. I mean, the, it, I mean, they also do like a lot of um, anime games, like One Piece yeah, games, yeah, yeah. And Dragon Quest, and all that sort of stuff. But I, I've got a, I've got to respect them for that because I remember playing it on the PS2. Like those were the games that I used to play when I was a kid. Like before I had Xbox Live or before I even had an Xbox. So I think if you're mm, yeah one of those people that like sort of I, I, I don't know I wouldn't even like to guess what sort of time frame they are, but they're obviously like old Japanese warriors and old Japanese battles and stuff. Well, it's um, based on old um, gods. That's Why? it. Yeah, do you know? So if you have something you're interested in, um, shoot, go for it, mate. But yeah, Omega Force, um, really good. I think they did a really good job. I don't know what they're doing now. Um, I don't know if they're doing much, but that definitely for Dynasty Warriors alone, that's got to be one I'd throw up there. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I rate them. Go for it. Not not my thing personally, but yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. But if we're continuing on with niche ones, uh, I'll come out with From Software, which obviously for me, known for the Souls games, mm-hmm. and known for obviously famously Soulsborne series and Sekiro. Uh, yeah, this is my favorite games. I think they, they haven't done anything, I don't think, that bad practice wise mm-hmm. I can think of. And I, I enjoy the games, obviously, aren't for everyone. They're, they're not, they're a very sort of niche style of game. Although they're, they're a lot more popular recently, yeah, it's got a big following nowadays. But yeah, I, I just think that they're, they're it's they're my favorite style of games. I, I like the the sort of genre of Souls and the difficulty and From Software, all sadistic. <laughs> they like people crying themselves to sleep. So well, I mean, yeah, you know, there's not much all... I can really say on that other than yeah, just just they're my favorite games. We'll we'll like a good old cry once in a while, you know. Yeah, they're they're solid games. I don't think they've made some stinkers in the pile. Like they they've they've there's the list of games they've developed are just huge. Yeah, but a lot of them are very old and and not very good. It wasn't until they came out with Demon Souls is when they started to kind of find what they were good at. I mean, let's be honest, right? Find me a company that hasn't made a stinky game. Do you know what I mean? There's there's going to be at least one on their portfolio that's going to be a bit stinky you know, this actually comes to me I'll, I'll let you go with your next one while i actually have a quick look at this I'll just... oh, no. <laughs> okay right so i'm going for overkill studios um responsible for probably one of my favorite sort of franchises ever and that's the payday series um the company itself was actually bought by starbreeze studios back in 2012 but as far as i'm aware Overkill still developed the game that I think Starbreeze just published it. Um, 
Payday for people that don't know. Um, it's pretty much a game where you commit robberies, like heists and stuff. Um, quite an interesting concept. Uh, very, you know, you've got a mixture of stealth or going loud. You know, there's all different things you can actually do in the game. Uh, like you can do different builds and stuff, things that don't work. You've got different masks, different collectibles. It's really, really cool. It's a cool concept. Um, interestingly, though, the former Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2 lead designer was actually a lead designer for Payday 2. So okay. there you go. There's a little bit of a... But yeah, I have a kill. They haven't really done anything else. They've only done Payday. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a niche one. But yeah, if you like um, those games, then yeah. Yeah, and Payday 3 is in development. So be excited yeah. for that. I'm very excited for that. But yeah. Overkill software is on my list. So the one I was just looking at was Naughty Dog. Uh, obviously, no very well dog. established, and I think I think Naughty Dog are potentially the last sort of traditional game company left that haven't done something wrong <laughs> somewhere. Like obviously, you get the like like I'm talking massive like Rockstar right, prefers yeah. still were there, and then they kind of started doing bad practices, yeah, yeah, and things like that. I think Naughty Dog could be the last giant out there that hasn't screwed up in some sense like that but they are just had a look they have made some stinky games but there's only a few to be fair Uh, and obviously naughty dog known for crash bandicoot uh, jack and daxter which was obviously the sort of xbox version of ratchet and clank Mm -hmm. uncharted and they did the burnout series didn't they did they naughty dog didn't know who am i thinking of i don't don't know actually have a look Burnout. How am I games. thinking of? Burnout Spen- was Criterion. Criterion. Why did I think it was Naughty Dog? Oh, anyway, yeah. Sorry. Not a clue. But <sighs> yeah, I don't. I don't think there's other than the the ones they made in the eighties. I don't think there's a bad game here. I like, rate that. that. That takes a lot of a lot of skill, a lot of determination to actually, you know, not screw up. Because I feel like game developers just get lazy because they know they could release any old stinky garbage. People are going to buy it because it's <laughs> the name. Yeah, well, yeah. And it's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you got Crash Bandicoot was their first big franchise and that obviously blew up. Oh, yeah, it's and, huge. And they came out, obviously, I'm guessing 2001 is similar to when Ratchet and Clank came out. Yeah. So, actually, wait, no, Jack and Daxter was PlayStation exclusive, I'm sure. <sighs> I've never played it, to be fair. I'm sure it was. Yeah, so maybe it was... Was it the other way around? I don't know. I know No, because uh, Ratchet and Clank was definitely on yeah, PlayStation as they well. They must have competed. Yeah, no, Jack and Daxter was definitely PlayStation exclusive, now I think about it. Oh. They, I'm sure they were published by Sony, so... But they they obviously, they're the competitors to Ratchet and Clank. Um, yeah, I, I think Ratchet and Clank's better, but I, are they not bad games by any stretch. They, they are still enjoyable games. Yeah, and obviously they moved into Uncharted, which mega popular, and then of course The Last of Us. So, I I don't think there's a bad franchise there. You've obviously you've got some like stinky indie games they made when they were small, like Math Jam. I um, love that game. Yeah, 1985, developed by Jam Software. I've never heard like, of it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. So things like that. So they, they released some stinky ones in the 90s, like early 90s and 80s. But yeah, I think for the most part, these Naughty Dog could potentially be the last giant left that is pure. I mean, I know Last of Us 2 has got a lot of hate, but yeah. I don't think they've done anything wrong. Didn't stop it winning thousands of awards, though, did it? Yeah, that's that's the thing. <laughs> it's, it's, I, they haven't done anything like publicly wrong that yeah. I could think of. So, yeah, I, I think they have to be there just for that, really. Well, I mean, yeah, you can't really... I mean, God bless you, naughty dog, you naughty little dogs. Um, I am going to... I mean, I'm sure all of mine are indie. Like, not indie, but, like, yeah. niche that no one's ever heard of, but people have heard of the games. So I'm going to throw this one at you. I'm going to see if you know what games they are without mm. looking. Okay. Quantic Dream. Quantic Dream? Mm-hmm. Um... Rack your brain, lad. Rack your brain. Quantic <laughs> Dream. It sounds. Quantic oh. Dream. It sounds Heavy Rain esque. 
It is. So they, it's yeah. the people that did Heavy Rain, like Beyond Two Detroit, Souls, and Detroit. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yes. It sounds very. I know it's Those a guys French are company. Brilliant. Yeah, they're based in I Paris. I was thinking. I know Detroit was a French game, so I just. Kinda... I just think they're fun. Like story-driven games are cool. Like you can just sit there and chill and just play the game. Like don't need to worry yeah. about it. And they, they kind of that made that their thing, and they've made it work. Like I don't think any of those games are stinky at all. I think that all three of them are incredible. Like Detroit become human. I think Beyond I Two it. Souls was a bit. I loved it, mate. I don't. I don't think it was like publicly that well received. No, probably um, not. But uh, not yeah. compared to the other two. But no, yeah. of course. But yeah, I mean, I don't think it was stinky. I think it was great. You know. Um, I think. With them, it, these this, they're like cinematic games, I think is the yeah. best way to describe them. Other people have tried. Obviously, um, The Order 1886 was one, and that, <laughs> there wasn't, that wasn't received very well. No. I think they've, they have a niche that, that is quite unique to them that they, they do well. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I think that's a good one. It's got to be on there. What a niche. Yeah, it's a niche one that I, will, I wouldn't have thought of, to be honest. And they made yeah. Fahrenheit as well, which was a really popular old game. There you go. So I, I remember playing as a kid. But yeah, I, I actually agree with that. To be honest, I wouldn't have thought of that. But moving on to, I guess you can kind of call it, well, we're talking about Jack and Daxter. We'll go with the Ratchet and Clank devs, Insomniac. Yeah. Um, for Spyro, Ratchet and Clank, Resistance and Spider-Man tend to be their sort of big, big sort of blowout franchises. Resistance, mm-hmm. not so much, but it still was big on the PS3. Still there, isn't it? Obviously, yeah, Spider-Man, Spyro and Ratchet should be in the main ones. The, the the thing I've noticed with Insomniac is they're 50-50. They tend to have really stinky games, like or really bangers. stinky or absolute bangers, yeah. yeah. Like the Ratchet and Clank uh, remake, obviously, I, I've been playing quite a lot recently since it's been free. And it's, it's a wonderful game. It's a bit yeah. short, but that's obviously... It's Ratchet and Clank, isn't it? Game. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful little game. And obviously Spider-Man is, is one of the best superhero games ever made. Agreed. So, Agreed. Yeah, Spyro, Spyro. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of Spyro, but they're still fun games to play. I love but it. I, lo- I love it. I love it. Spyro, yeah, just they're, the one. <laughs> they're not like I. I think I prefer like Ratchet and and uh, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, and that's the sort of things. But that's, I mean, that's a fair, fair thing to say. I think. Yeah, and they're not like, like the, the sort of. These style of games like Ratchet and Spyro, they're sort of like Nintendo esque yeah. sort of games, but I don't think they're. I mean, Crash and, and Ratchet possibly, but Spyro and Jack definitely aren't as big as like Mario games or anything. No, but then I guess you could argue that Mario is, a, 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 I guess, a part of its success is the fact that it's the staple of Nintendo. So you know, you've got Nintendo and you instantly assume Mario, you know, whereas... Is that probably the same with Naughty Dog? I mean, I mean I'm talking maybe more like, us, but... as opposed to like game development, but Nintendo, you you look at consoles and everything. You say Nintendo, you think of oh, Nintendo Mario, as a company yeah, and then Mario. Yeah, okay. Whereas you say like PlayStation, you don't instantly go to like... No, you don't think Spyro of Spyro like or Crash. Crash, or, no. You think of... Misery Nathan and Drake and <laughs> yeah. overheating consoles. Yeah, but and, yeah. You know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So similarly, while well, while we're talking to Nintendo, I don't know if you've got it, but I've got Nintendo down on mine. Uh, no, I didn't actually. Arguably, probably the most famous game dev in the world. Yeah, I, don't I think, think you it's can probably argue fair that. to say. I mean, Mario, Pokemon, Zelda, Ocarina of Time, yeah. Donkey Kong, Animal Crossing. Yeah, you don't really need to go Bitcoin. into coins. <laughs> those coin <laughs> but <laughs> yeah I don't, know, I don't know why I said that but yeah, yeah I know I mean either but yeah it, <laughs> just giants yeah no, uh, I think... but don't, do you know what just on the on the note of giants I've gone Square Enix that's on there for me I I had I actually had a look at these but big boys Final Fantasy I, mate I didn't end up doing it because like recently ugh. They've just been so bad recently. It's just Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts. You know, you can't not put respect on it. You just, I think if you don't understand like the size of the Final Fantasy franchise and the fact that Kingdom Hearts incorporated Disney into everything, it's 
you know. Yeah. Absolutely. It'd be disrespectful yeah, they are, to. They are definitely giants, yeah. Not, sure. not have a speak about them. You know, for me, Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts are one of my favorite game series of all time. So, you know. I mean, yeah, you are right. Square Enix haven't exactly done anything useful in the last however many years. Like Kingdom Hearts 3, as far as I'm concerned, can be used as toilet paper. Well, but, Final Fantasy 7 Remo was the last good thing they did, other than that, it's been Avengers and Outriders. So. Yeah, they've definitely gone down a wrong path, but yeah, they're old going into Square the Enix. Multiplayer it's, sort of way, and it isn't yeah. working. Stick but yeah, no, you know, they boys. came out alongside. Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts, they made the new Tomb Raider games, mm-hmm. the Daddy's X games, uh, Neo Automata as well as a Square Enix game that's mega popular. Yeah. There's a bunch there's a bunch of franchises here. Just Cause is obviously well uh probably they're published by Square Enix, I think mm-hmm. that one. But yeah, same thing. But yeah, no, for me it was Life is Strange as well. I've just seen there, that's mad mad, mad popular. Yeah. But for me, uh, obviously, I'm not I'm not a Final Fantasy or a Kingdom Hearts guy, so that's no. why for me I didn't I didn't put. But I did I did have a look because obviously they are not like giants yeah. know, sort of game. But yeah, I, I can understand why people would. Uh, they've been in the game a long time and they're not oh, yeah. do it for the most part. Of course. But I have Santa Monica Studios. Some people might not know. They're known for God of War mainly. That's it. I did. Uh, yeah, I was. You know, I was just thinking. I was like, hold on a second. Why yeah, do I recognise that? Kind of, they're known for God of War for the most part, but they've done some really nice indie games as well, like What, what Remains of Edith Finch, Journey, and uh, even Twisted Metal, if anyone remembers that old that old car sort of demolition derby game that was really fun back yes, in the day. Yeah. But yeah, I think these these are a very pure company that make some absolutely beautiful games like God of War. Journey is such a beautiful little indie game. I, I believe that's been free on PlayStation. I'm sure it has. Yeah, it has, got yeah. it. But uh, if you haven't played Journey, you go and do it. It's, it's beautiful. It really is. And God of War as well. If, you, if, if people haven't played God of War and own it, what are you doing? Please play. <laughs> Please don't. It's the best game. But yeah, yeah I got right, crucified that's, that's for that. I didn't like it last yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> big up the awfully Irish podcast. You got absolutely butchered uh, when you say I've only played twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, because you know, absolutely cremated for it. But geez. yeah, so that, that's the opinion people have of God of War. That's Peter's a loved game. Very similar to like Ocarina of Time. If someone says I don't like Ocarina of Time, just change your identity because I've just never played it. it so. Yeah, don't say that in public. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know this is a public service announcement. I never intend to play Ocarina of oh, Time. Oh, you, we might as well just close the channel. Oh, We're done. mate, you know, you got to do what you got to do, isn't it? I just yeah. have no interest in playing it, to be honest. I mean, no, you're not a Zelda person. So nah, not enough. exactly. You didn't like Breath of the Wild either, did you? No. No. I was just like, oh, I don't even know why I'm playing this and turned it off and never turned it back on again. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god. <laughs> just found our clips for the week. <laughs> yeah, why are they all directed at me saying stuff? What do you mean? Just bro? It's funny, <sighs> funny, and it's just what you get for leaving me on my own for like what was it like twelve it, days? It was it, miserable. Well, you know, to tell you how to make it worse, I thought what was the game called? Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild yeah. sucked. So that's all from me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got, got anything else to add to that other than um, I can't, I can't leave say. hate to this man's Twitter. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, yeah, come 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 at me, boys. No, I don't I mean <laughs> admittedly I can't I can't I've never I, that's the thing, right? We got a war, I never said it sucked, I just said I've never played it. Yeah, no, to be fair, you like I I've obviously I've watched the episode back a few times having to do clips and things, and yeah, you, you there's no point you didn't say like you, you never said it was bad. You just said I <laughs> haven't played it enough. That's what I mean. I, I can't I can't comment on something I don't I don't know about. Your fury. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but there you go. But yeah, that 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 was that's the last one on my list that I could think of, unless I could think of any of the top of my head. I'll I tell you what, I've got two. I've got two. Yeah, go on, go for it. One is Sega. I right, see again with these. I was going to put them on, but I think Sonic's a bit of a waste, man. So I just didn't. <laughs> um, 
Subscribe. Yeah, anyway, we'll Thanks. see you next <laughs> yeah, yeah, subscribe, <laughs> We'll see you next week. Okay, not only oh. did they do Sonic, they did Golden Axe, Streets of Rage. Oh god, Golden Axe. That's an Super old game. Monkey Ball. You know, you say they've done a lot. Uh, I mean, I guess they're obviously giants. Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe me, more consoles. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah, Sonic for me was uh, was my baby. Um, and then yeah. the final one is one that <laughs> we could we could agree with, we could disagree with. So it'd be interesting. Yeah, is, uh, Activision. Get out of here. Is it, is it actually going to be no, active? No, no. What oh, do you okay. mean? <laughs> I thought I was going to cry myself to sleep. <laughs> um, it's right games. Okay. No, uh, to be honest, yeah, I, I agree with that, actually. You know, as much as League of Legends is the most toxic, you know, a horrible experience, you, you we had a lot of good memories on that, and it's a good game, right? It's... it's it is yeah. a good. It is a good game. Otherwise, people that many people wouldn't still play it. You know, it, it's fun when it's at its core. When the actual yeah, game plays, honest, this is one I just completely overlooked. Yeah, it's, it's not even just that now, is it? League of Legends, Valorant, Valorant massive yeah. team fight tactics, massive. The Legends of Rune Terror, like there's so many games they have now. Yeah, they've done bits. You know, arguably Valorant, probably one huge. of the biggest online. You know online gaming companies. I mean, League of Legends probably is. So maybe, maybe Fortnite might be bigger now. I don't know, but probably the biggest game. I don't know. Multi multiplayer, what, of all time? Maybe not of all time, but of recent time, at least. You know, because oh, of the fact that the esports be. thing is off the charts. Biggest, biggest multiplayer games of the last decade. I don't Maybe. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the only problem is, is is it's got a lot of like yeah, discrimination lawsuits against the company right now. But um, oh yeah, yeah, that's 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 ongoing. And when it comes to things like this, it's often like innocent until proven guilty. So it's not really obviously yeah. if if it's true, then absolutely that's wrong. I think, but yeah, you can't it's hold it against the company because the problem is it's it's like it's um, a person, it's a person, not a company thing. As long as they accept that this person has done something wrong if they have done something wrong and deal with it appropriately it then doesn't become a company thing yeah you know it but in terms of game development regardless of what's happening at the company i think you can't argue that league of legends was one of those games that <sighs> no it's huge deserves it, it respect defined... So we had like after the Call of Duty craze, MOBAs became popular, and that's yep. well, League of Legends was the MOBA one. before Battle Royale, wasn't it? Yeah, and looking at player counts monthly, uh, Fortnite is quite a lot bigger than League at its peak. So League, in terms of sort of MOBAs and and Battle Royales, surprisingly, yeah. Warzone's actually not that high up there. League of Legends with 111 million monthly peak. That's like obviously the highest it got. I don't know if it's growing or like dying nowadays. I haven't got a clue. Fortnite, 350 mil. Unbelievable. And surprisingly, PUBG, 1.7 bill. Jesus. Billion. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Jesus. PUBG is effectively the most played video game of all time. Then I think PUBG was the beginning when that, that was like the, the, the birth. Before. Yeah, you had H one Z one, and that was that. Well, it never really blew up, but it, it, it was just a mod, though, wasn't it? When it first yeah, it, it, yeah. But it, so. but it sort of started the franchise. That's when PUBG came in, and it, <laughs> it was massive. Before we before we wrap up, do you remember the time when uh, PUBG tried to sue Fortnite for stealing the game? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't no, don't work. Like if, if I have a look, actually. Oh, that's like that's like <laughs> that's like Call of Duty being like, "Yo, Battlefield, you stole first person shooters from us. We're gonna sue you." Like, what do you mean? Yeah. So having a quick look. So PUBG obviously has a massive player count. Yeah. Not not now, but it has. PUBG's worth is four point six billion. Yeah. And now, if we look at Fortnite's worth, I think it's gonna be a lot higher than that. I think so. We have a look. Well, maybe not. Two billion. Is that it? Man's not even rich, you know. 
What do you I mean? I mean, Epic, Epic is obviously a lot bigger than... Of course. But Fortnite itself apparently is about $2 billion. Yeah, and so 1.6 billion of that is on V Bucks. Probably is. It <laughs> probably is. But when was Fortnite even released? 2017. When was PUBG released? I don't even know. 2015? Tw- yeah. Maybe. Okay, maybe, maybe not then. But yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I think I think League of Legends, uh, Riot Games. We got off yeah. a bit of a tangent, but yeah. I, I think Riot Games, yeah, it's up there. It's got to be. Speaking, speaking of Epic Games, uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? Epic, nah. Nah. But yeah, I, I actually just thought of one last one, and this this Ooh. potentially could be one, a huge one we've both missed. Oh, that no. could be the best game dev of all time, and that is uh, going to be Microsoft. Yeah, oh. right. Okay. Thank you, boys, for watching. Make sure you check out the episode. <laughs> nah, no, I mean, obviously, I'm joking. Yeah, no, I'd rather die. I but, mean, yeah. let's be honest, right? It, it all memes aside, right? As much as I dislike Microsoft now, they have published a lot of good games. You know, they had, they got Bungie yeah. underneath them and stuff, and they had Halo. I'm obviously, I don't think it was at the time, but. You know, nah, I'm joking. They suck. I was trying. I was really <laughs> trying there. Speaking of that, Bungie's good. Microsoft's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was really Bungie, trying. I was yes. trying to be like, you know, devil's advocate. And be like, yeah, I but do like Bungie. We crap all over Microsoft all the time, but they're not that now. They are just the devil. Yeah, the story. No, I, don't, I don't know. But nah. yeah, Bungie, Bungie, yes. Microsoft, no. Hey, That's it for me. Do you know I'd be mad, right? Yeah. Imagine if all of a sudden we get a cease and desist letter from Microsoft. Oh, about. God, yeah. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I'll fight. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, all right, let's... <laughs> Tarnishing the name of Microsoft. I'll be like, all. listen here, mate. I've got enough Bitcoin to take you down. What do you <laughs> <Yeah>. mean? <laughs> Man's got all them Doge coins and that. No, it's just fine. Don't worry about it. But on that note, I don't really want to get sued. So I'm going to... Well, I think. Yeah, we're going to stop. <laughs> uh, you know, bless up microsoft and that um yeah oh my god their net worth go on the last update in 2020 is over a trillion yeah i gotta have my jean pocket mate so <laughs> yeah it. that's change no, listen <laughs> you know i don't i don't i don't i don't mess about i mean <sighs> but yeah that's that's all for me as as usual, we start the episode with Microsoft and we end the episode with Microsoft. Yeah, yeah I think I'm renaming the podcast at this point to uh, slatemicrosoft.com. So uh, I think rebranding yeah. coming. Um, anyway, tuned. <laughs> one thing I did want to say before I do the, the, the wrapping up um, is if any of you listening are any good uh, thumbnails or anything, just shoot me a message on my or either the the podcast Twitter or my personal Twitter. I'm trying to like spruce up the channel a bit because yeah, we're thinking of a little rebrand sort of. It's sort a of bit thing dark at the moment, and I want to. Yeah, we're thinking of just seeing what we can do with it. Bit of color, and bit of blah. You know, if anyone's got any tips or any suggestions, or just shoot me a DM. You know, slide into the DMs. Or tweet at me, whatever you feel is necessary. Because, you know, we're all about yeah. moving forward here. We've been going for what, three months now. So I think it's time to go for a little yes. change. A little revitalize and see how we can move forward. Of course. I mean, we change the way we do content now. Um, so, you know. Who yeah, knows? We, we started off and it was the most least efficient way. Oh, it wasn't even that. It was anything. just robotic, mate. It was yeah, just... it did. It did work. Welcome <laughs> so... to the podcast, guys. <laughs> I've got news for you. As well. oh, <laughs> do you know what? If Microsoft buy Discord, hmm. they could take Craig with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please don't give me Craig <laughs> just ever again. Keep Craig. No, I mean, I'm not interested. <laughs> Yeah, that's the yeah. Obviously, we've become a lot more confident as, as yeah. sort of creators. Yeah, but we do we are looking to sort of rebrand a little bit just to spice things up. But they'll this, come on Twitter. Uh, there will be tweets about this. Stay tuned and also yeah. stay tuned for motivational posts. Apparently, because uh, you they know, seem to do well on Twitter. You guys seem to like them, so we'll keep them coming. Stay motivated, boys. Don't be like me. Don't be lazy. All right, I'm lazy. Don't be like that. 
I, 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 I'm not that lazy. I'm just, you know, I'm chilling. But anyway, rambling. Let's end. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it all from me. Oh, oh right. The boring part. No one likes. And uh, oh, I'm going to sure sleep. I'm, yeah, I might just cut it here and be like, yo, see you guys later. I mean, be done with it. But anyway, make sure that you check us out on our YouTube channel, which is actually doing relatively well. I think we're on 53 subscribers now, something like that. Yeah, um, see if we can push it to 60 by the end of April. Why you not? can do Just it, boys. Challenge it. Go for it. Uh, make sure that you like the video because that shows us that you're enjoying the content. And again, make sure you subscribe. We're also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts, and also wherever you like to listen to your podcasts. We're on a lot of different platforms that I do not know the name of. Um, so <laughs> nine times out of ten... <laughs> If you're listening to a podcast, <laughs> we're probably on there. <laughs> I don't know the name of any of our platforms. <laughs> That's 10 out of 10 self-plug. <laughs> We've got all these platforms, but I don't know any of them. <laughs> oh god oh mate L- listen I go on holiday for one week and it falls apart <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ <laughs> god that uh, somebody clip this oh, wait, that's, my, that's, that's, that's my job <laughs> oh Jesus right. <laughs> anyway it's all on our website make sure you check our website it's looking sick hstp.co.uk that's hstp.co.uk you know the you drill know what boys I just had a thought. go on oh like the thumbnails we could actually make like with the font and everything from the website because that looks quite nice and it's all True. bright but we'll uh we'll talk about that after we're, we're done here yes but yeah <laughs> um discord that is one thing that we're easily accessed accessible on um, probably the quickest way to get a answer um, from one of us because I am normally on during the day and you're normally on during the evening so yeah. it's probably best if you, re- you need to get a hold of us at any reason jump on Discord, shoot us a DM it's chill um, episodes go live 6pm GMT on Sundays and clips will go live YouTube uh, Tuesdays and Fridays at 6pm also, this may be changing soon but we will update you um, we're having to play around with statistics and different things and we're seeing when's the best time to post so stay tuned on Twitter um, which is where we update everything um, on that note make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram um, which is at hit start to play where I'm going to be so the, the the idea is is on Instagram I want to spruce that up a little bit as well when we post our clips to Instagram and Twitter um, as we've mentioned before, me and Ben have very different jobs when it comes to the podcast. Um, and my job solely is like editing and things like that. So I'm um, looking at doing different things to make it look a bit more exciting. Um, so give me time with that. Again, if you've got any suggestions, just shoot us a message. Let us know what you think. You know, if you've got any ideas or anything, um, we're sort of happy to listen. Um, but other than that, I think that is everything from me. If you've got anything more you'd like to add, no, I don't think so. Cool. I'll learn the I'll learn the different platforms by the next episode. <laughs> yeah. um, what podcast is this? Wait, this is a podcast. <laughs> who, who am I? I haven't been recorded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can imagine. Oh, uh, you know, uh, I just go, I just go cry. But anyway, yeah boys and girls thank you very much for listening and we will see you next week uh on monday yeah stay safe and goodbye goodbye